I completely forgot that my microphone was off. Sorry for my voice, I'm sick. But, um, I found the prices of the Holy Ranch. Oh my god, that's 100 runex for one. What? Okay, I'm gonna do an inventory of these. Just because, yes. I, I just bought the wrong bag. Oh, fuck. <coughs> All right, you're allowed to laugh at that one. Oof. Oh, that could have been so good. Well, at least I know now. <coughs> but yeah, I've done like barely anything since the last clip. Uh, should I do a daily with these? No. All right, since you guys seem to like the enormous amol content, I actually pulled it up way too late to actually get the kill and loot, but yeah. Uh, let's get in exchange for three claws if I can find the friggin' NPC. There he is. Exchange. Uh... Ooh, Catus, those are the hard ones to get. Nice. And stocking up on crystal keys for a key event. Um, I did do a roll that got me a winter mystery chest, um, but of course, I'm waiting for a prize key out of the chest before opening this because it also gets a good a chunk of winter shards back, which is pretty nice. But yeah, uh, it is just so satisfying to get these all loots. Did I just say loots? I sound like Metal Rain. Hey, guess which idiot forgot to bring epic locks to giant emol. Who cares? Content. <sighs> Let me show you why that's my reaction to the loops half to the loop halves of the keys. <laughs> That's fine. I do want to note that, ignoring my rune X point disaster, we're at 3,400 boss points, which is really nice because if we come over here to the Beastmaster and open the perk tree, um, we are actually decently close to we're very close, actually, to Swift Spawner, which means that I can actually camp instances besides, well, even including the God Wars Dungeon instances, and have it actually be fairly efficient because it's only a 10 second respawn. So I can camp like Lizardmen Shamans and it have it be an actual good camping spot. I mean, regenerate is nice, but I think Swift Spawner is going to be better in the long term. And then Soul Snatcher is like, you, you spend the 20,000 points there, not for the extra boss points, but for the luck upgrade later for the 5k KC. And then Greed, which <laughs> I feel like... That is specifically designed for Kyle. <laughs> um, and then the damage upgrade. Oh my god, I did not even consider the damage upgrades. Those are super late game, but still. I know, technically, I should be going for Superior Slayer bosses too, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, doing this stuff will also get me 
uh, points faster. I don't really care about Instant Slayer here because I'm getting that from the Slayer point shop. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, when I hit 3,500, I don't think I need to make a clip of it, but I probably will. I'll buy the Swift Spawner perk. And then when boss events roll around, I'll probably, instead of camping Zolra without a task, I'll probably be camping Lizardman Shamans for the uh, Winter Shards. Uh, just as a quick update, I think I mentioned I have a chest that I'm waiting for a key. And we have completed 27 rolls. <coughs> mainly that low because I was like, oh, Marie, okay, I'm going to actually grind this out, and then I got sick. <laughs> it was just like a sinus thing. It wasn't major, but it did knock me out for a couple of days. Anyway, uh, back to Grok grinding. Well, grinding, I got another box, so let's see. Ooh, BCP, that is a chunky bit of rune coins right there oh my god i was not expecting something so good all right so this is about the best i'm gonna get rune coin wise so exchange a good twenty two thousand rune coins exchanged boom donor mystery box contains bandos tasks a fantastic addition to the bank because that is another 500 rune coins for the next exchange. Awesome. So, let's see. 25k. What do I want? Look at the shop. I could save up for the grand looting bag. Very good idea to do so. Um, I've been thinking about it, and the Scholar's Blessing is less of a utter waste of money than I was thinking because that actually is pretty good um, when you're going for 200 mil. So I will pick that up at some point, but that's going to be a while. I could go for an Elemental Slayer Helm. <coughs> uh, it would probably be the Earth one because... Uh, well, no, no, it would probably be the Mage one. So let's see how much of an upgrade it is. <clears throat> let's see this is five percent magic damage um and plus five on all accuracies probably the best one to go for because it does improve every combat style but let's consider all of our options ring of vigor basically would only be used for dragon warhammer spec bosses so um possibly vorkath corp raids but that's another switch in raids. Um, 11 to 50. Eh. There's also elixir formulas. But I'm going to be getting those later. Because the only formulas I'd really want are dragon and infernal. So the odds of getting the one I want pretty low at first. And then of course there are the wyvern shield and xanic crossbow upgrades. Um, Xanic Crossbow would honestly be close to a best in slot ranged weapon, but just because once I start actually doing my dailies again, I really need to do that. Um, I'll be able to get a Xerite Bow. I mean, it's the most expensive item in the shop, but it's I'm like a quarter of the way there, basically. <coughs> or closer to a third of the way there. So I don't see myself needing to do that. So I think I am going to go ahead and make my first upgraded fused Slayer Helm by purchasing the uh, Frost Slayer Helm, I think it is. Just because it's going to make everything better. So there we go. Frost Slayer Helm has been obtained. A fantastic upgrade for anywhere I'm using magic, which is honestly most places, and that is actually going to make Zolra grinding even faster. I honestly wasn't even thinking about Zolra grinding, but yeah. I may have made mistakes this episode. I don't think this is one of them.
Oh my god, I'm up to 50% magic damage when I'm not um, doing surges. So that's 50% on my um, blood barrages, basically. And 42% plus 75. So 112% with the Totem of Fire. Nice. Even more mole content in being unable to find farmer. Ooh, bag of riches, bag of tokens, and prize box. Bleh. All right. I that does remind me. I need to actually have a ring of greed. I. I'm convinced that the Ring of Greed works on the, um, Grox at this point. I have no actual proof, but I have gotten double drops, so I don't know if that's a game mode based or what. And content. I actually got a claw doubled, which is kind of fun. Eh. Three prize boxes, huh? Well, I got an epic key and two dragon halberds, so that's not bad. Okay. So, I think the 75 rolls thing was changed, because I definitely have not done 75 rolls in the chest. But we did get ourselves a donator mystery casket box and chest. The chest, of course, I'll be saving for a prize key. But let's open the casket and get... Two crystal keys and the box and get a frozen whip. Yo, that is actually really good. Um, in case anyone's forgotten, I'm saving these in particular as well as the lava whip for uh, infernal tentacle attempts just because I think it would be cool to have all of that super rare end game stuff. So, nice. Um... Of course, the casket or chest is a lower priority than that. Um, I'm going to wait until I get a brand. I'm going to use a grand key on the chest. Really, I think I don't get one grand key for every chest. Two, three. Uh, yeah, there are three grand prize keys, so I'm just going to save those for those. I'll use regular prize keys on those chests as well as the um, pet mystery box. Anyway, I'm going to keep grinding the event just because <coughs> uh, I mean, I'd like to get the stuff particularly kind of eyeing that for that you know, shot at the winter demon pet, um, which I want because it will help next year's event, as well as, you know, the grand promo package would be pretty sweet. Um, winter parrot, I mean, it just goes down here, so why not? It would be cool to have an item for that slot. Grand prize keys, mystery tickets, fairly self-explanatory. And the epic pet box of course because that is the big prize on any event huge casket will be nice for bond money but anyway i'm gonna keep grinding um doing grox is surprisingly gratifying honestly um i it's just kind of nice to zone out listen to music or watch some like rust videos i really like blueprint even though i don't like the fact that he uses a specific ableist slur i think that's because he's just he is a teenager and he's going hopefully going to grow out of it but i'm going on way too long about this subject content also please listen to danger days it is the best chemical romance album wow that is a nice one actually Man, I'm getting a lot of emo kills, but I'm never getting like five in a day. Eh. Ooh, 200 skiller tokens. But yeah, I'm still working on the event. Um, I'm not recording most of the rolls just because they're not going to be that interesting stuff because I'm down to like, oh, 
I'm getting the crystal keys and the ultimate prize boxes and the 10 mil cash bags. Like, once I get past these items, pretty much, that's when I'm going to be recording the rolls because, like, the Christmas crate is a pretty cool item, actually. I mean, it's the Xanic crate from Death to the Dorgashun, I think, but retextured. Um, you know, I get more chests, more boxes, prize keys, um, and then I start getting into the ultra rares. Um, I have, like... <clears throat> over two weeks to do this too so I think I can actually clear the chest got myself a mystery box containing a ooh granite mole ore that's 500 RC nice also things keep spawning in here so hey cool mole dance mole dance what could it mean it means you live a life of sin and are rewarded Two task models. That is actually awesome. I think the rune one is literally one rune coin, not worth a bank space. Oh my god. Yo, second prize key within 500 KC. It's a 1 in 1k drop, so that's uh, that's actually really cool. Um, like I said, uh, I'm going to save that for pet boxes, and then if... No, I'm just going to save those for pet boxes in general, the regular prize keys um it's the grand prize keys excuse me oh my god i'm so sorry i'm not used to, that, that doesn't happen during, happen during clips um grand prize keys are going on the chests because i believe that they only work on mystery chests where the grant where the prize keys work on like uh mini games pet boxes that sort of thing uh, I'll, I'll double check. Holy crap, I got another mystery box at 571kc containing a Staff of the Dead, which is 200 rune coins. And it's already in my bank, so that's not taking up another um, inventory slot. Obviously, I'm grabbing the implings that are of note to me while I'm hunting Grox, so I'm stacking up more like task bottles, magic tokens are weird runes, that sort of thing. So, it's nice to watch things stack up in the bank even more. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, yeah, I'm saving the regular prize keys to bot use on um, pet boxes that I buy with bond money, or with bond tickets, donator tickets from bonds, um, as well as the ones, you know, in the exchange. Um... So I'm saving regular prize keys for that using the... Whoa. Yo, the Leviathan Kraken pet is cool. Like, I don't care about most of the boss pets, but that... Look, I guess that's also because the Leviathan Kraken itself looks really cool. Anywho, so yeah, I'm just going to use the grand prize keys on the chest is where I'm going with that. That is the saddest list of emol drops I've seen in chat. Like, I'm not complaining about, like, oh, I only got battle axes, and... No, I'm saying that only one person got a rare drop. That is... Actually pretty sad in comparison to what I'm used to. I'm just... I'm geared up... Oh, wow. Oh, I have so many crystal keys when it's a key chest event. But I'm geared up slightly weird, like, with the Chaos Scepter, because I'm going to go do a task scroll, which is killing mummies in the pyramid. Yeah, I should technically be saving that for, you know, uh, um, Narda event, but I mean, eh, like, it's not like you get a ton of shards from doing that particular event, in my experience, at least. Um, how many keys am I up to? Nine, wow. Uh, I'm just kind of figuring, all right, I'm going to stack up my task scroll chat or caskets again. Um, just as a quick, ooh, I, uh, I'm going to do the comment, actually. It's like five, t 
10, 11, 20, 22, 27, 31, 32, 33, 35, 40, 44, 45. 45 rolls until I get to the ultra rares, which I admittedly have been kind of um, slacking for the past couple days. I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV, and I love that game, and I love my character in it, which is weird because I'm never attached to MMO characters. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah. Get Dang it, I forgot to bring my Epic Rock tokens. And in comes some more Mole Boy content. Uh, not really, actually. Uh, someone immediately blows the, whole, the horn of the underground, though, so we got a chance to redeem ourselves. We haven't gotten a Grand Crest piece from, like, well, a non- one Grand Crest piece in quite a while, actually. Um, I actually got 60 regular luck tokens out of one of those earlier. But, yeah, I'd really, 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 really like, you know, a two or a three especially. But it doesn't seem fated to be. How many people are at this small event? It is melting. Oh my god. Alright. Let's see. Can I get like a GCP? No, I can't. Cool. Uh, I can't really complain too much though. I mean, the consistent loot is super good on its own anyway. Like, you get regular point chests. And keys and bags of tokens and stuff. I actually am starting to like the tokens more than I like the bags of riches, which speaking of, um, just because the riches are like, uh, there's, a, there's a little chance to get a sacred token. Wait, no, do you get sacred tokens from riches or token bags? I actually am not sure about that. But like, yeah, tokens are like, you can get lux, you can get epic lux, you can get the skill XP tokens that are gonna be good for going for 200 mils and yeah. Plus, you get a ton of GP from the boss anyway, and we know how much use GP is just day to day. It's only like when you save up a ridiculous amount that you can really do anything with gold on an Iron Man. So. Is that a. Okay, I thought it, was, it would be weird to have two of that. Th <laughs> I have a full uh, Wizard G set. That's actually kind of funny to me. <coughs> Alright, now I'm going to actually do Norda. At this rate, I am probably going to get a mold daily, which is weird. I don't even really remember. Um, okay, just gives the chest, bag of riches, and 100 mil. Okay. <clears throat> Someone got the box. And I got the maces. Everyone's favorite drop from Emol, Dragon Mace. It is a little weird to me that, like, the dragon... Oh, 30 skill points is a lot. But it's a little weird to me that, like, the dragon stuff is on drop tables. Like, do people pick them up and actually elk them? Or sell them? To oh my god, so many task bottles. Are, like, are there people who actually go out of their way... To elk or sell the dragon items. Oh my god, that's another. Oh my. <laughs> the. I can't speak today. And daily reward incoming. And wow, not a single broadcast. That is. <laughs> that is actually pretty sad to see. Zero broadcasts. Huh. Alright. That that's weird, right? They there's always a broadcast. Oh well. Oh my god. 
want three epic keys. <laughs> or wait, no, I need that on for my current task. A sack of riches, holy crap. And mm, bank space. So there's no reason for bank space to be limited, right? Like, it is totally a thing where, like, there are tons and tons of servers with infinite bank space. So why, why is it limited here? It's just irritating, really, is what it boils down to. Sack of... Oh... Oh, oh, oh. Ugh. That, that leaves a poor taste in the mouth right there. Um, prize chest. I'm just going to check and see here. Is it in here? No. Oh yeah, it is actually tier three. Uh, 2,500, 65% chance. Sure. Ah. Never lucky. Ah well. It was only 2,500 RC. I'm not shaken up by it. All right, back to ta No, wait, no. Back to the friggin' meteor. I love that thing. It's just so nice and AFK and wow, I'm getting close to being able to afford a full-on 20 or full-on 10 bond, which isn't enough for a pet box, so it's actually not exciting on its own. I actually totally forgot, but we've actually done something we haven't done in a long time, it feels like, and that's we completed an achievement. Um, oh, I never claimed this one. Probably because its reward isn't very good. Um... <clears throat> Ooh, I need to do that one for the minigame box, but... Um, yeah, we completed uh, Pyramid Plunderer 2. Not, like, a good reward, but it's another achievement, which is very rare to complete at this point of the account. I decided to do the Rune Coin daily as part of the task bottle, because why not? That answers that question. <laughs> this is a weirdly specific task that I can actually do, but it actually is a um, task scroll event right now, and I'm sure it won't take 20 minutes to gather 157 sharks, but I'd still rather open stuff now while I can. I'll open them as I go, basically. Um, beyond this point so let's open the easies Ooh, oh zamrat coif and serodon and dehyde oh the, that's just 10 each five and none and harry's cutlass okay i'm pretty sure i have had that before and the hard gives boots of darkness and gloves oh wow that's 150 ring coins all right that is actually, you know, a decent little starting pile of earned coins there. And while I have you here as a captive audience, I don't know why I said it like that. Let's go ahead and pop a roll. It's probably going to be a crystal key, which I would love an event for that right now. Um, no, it's the carryable Christmas crate. I like the, I like this. Um, I wish we had like cosmetic overrides so I could. <clears throat> just use stuff like that um there's actually a, a you know welcome to 2020 event kind of thread oh, can't deposit that there what it's card on me miss there are 23 will be on your twift what i can't i can't put the carryable christmas grain in that that's probably an oversight it happens like i think you can even use the penguins in there anyway uh yeah again we're still like getting 
reasonably close <clears throat> to uh, getting the good stuff out of the chest, so I'm excited for that. I totally forgot that there was a complete task scroll um, daily, but hey, I got an extra medium casket out of that, which is pretty sweet. I kind of underestimated that, I think. Um, let me pull those out just so I can get another one immediately. And let's see here. Oh, oh look, it, it's Excalibur. It's not enhanced Excalibur, but it's Excalibur. I, I don't think it has any purpose. So, goodbye Excalibur. <clears throat> hey, that's another 1k shards and another crystal key, so let's... Oh, Gothic Sword Top. Neat. Uh, da, 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 Barrow's Gloves, Five Dragon Full Helps. Yeah, that's not happening. Da, da, da. Um, well, I got rid of that one, all of those, so that's not happening either. <clears throat> I've learned my lesson on trying to grind out items specifically for tasks, so. Alright, that's kind of that for the task scroll bit, then. Uh... Alright, I think it's... No, I think the comet is live again, so... Right, look, I know it's actually fairly slow, but it's pure AFK. I can watch last week tonight stuff and that sort of thing. Um, so... Oh, wait, no, it's, it's not up. No! Alright, I need to cut this clip here. I, I, I got 5,000 shards just from that, um, thing. What's it called? The Comet. That's kind of incredible, actually. An entire roll, purely AFK. I just want to show this roll because I think it is notable because, um, we're going to be done with the 10 mil cash bags and on to the good stuff. Especially a pet mystery box, that is really good. So boom, and we got a regular holiday box, which I will just be opening for an infinity hat. So that's 75 rune coins, sweet. I am not making that emo, but there is a comet incoming, and that is so sweet. Uh, I don't know why I just deposited my shards. Oh, I need to buy bonds soon. Um, yeah, this is what the rune coin tab is looking like at the moment. Um, is there anything else I wanted to mention? No, I don't think there was. Uh, I will mention while I'm on this tab and I'm looking at it. Um, I do intend to keep these tokens for a while, actually, because I am going to really need them for, um, 200 mil all, like, actually, let me calculate out how much free XP is in those tokens. So, just in the tokens alone, I have 28,350,000 XP, and that's not even counting, you know, how much XP I'm, or how many more I'm going to get just by doing stuff and getting bags of tokens, doing dailies to get the tokens. Um, but... There is also the Scholar's Blessing, which doubles the cap, which means that it's worth 20,000 XP rather than um, 10,000. So, really, I have 56.7 million XP in tokens alone. So, yeah, putting it in that terms, or in those terms, that's like a quarter of a 200 mil, like, I'm gonna start bringing, uh, combat tokens whenever I'm doing Slayer in general, just because, hey, that's free XP, but th that is super free, especially for the pain skills, like, 
rune crafting and mining. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Uh, 200 mil all is an eventual goal, of course. It's just <clears throat> very eventual. Uh, is that my third prize key from Grox alone? That's... <laughs> I, I'm not going to complain. It's rare that my luck is ridiculous in this way. Ooh. I gotta go for that, but I'm, I'm not gonna keep the clip rolling for it. Someone else has probably gotten it by now. What the hell? Uh, another prize key at uh, KC834. That's, I mean, I'm not gonna complain, it's just... I see. You know what? I'm impatient and dumb. Let's do this. I see. Oh, this is really good. Obsidian plate body, which is a tank body, so it's not that great. Corrupted plate body, which is... I think this is like rune with prayer, kind of like the... Uh, Proslite is adamant with prayer. An extra Master Wand, so I don't need to grind out a second one if I want to go for a, both a Elemental and a um, Catalytic Wand. I don't know why I'd want to... This mother... Mm -hmm. Reformed also got another Brimstone... Two Brimstone Hammers! But yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I kind of flinched when I saw a scythe. I, and then I realized, oh, that's the cosmetic one. So basically all rune coin items, but very high ticket items. 75, 250, 650. Well, then there's 50, but... Alright. Uh, oh, I did also just get a 1k rune coin bag. So if I look in here, uh, this is what we've got left. We're actually, we've completed the first three full rows in crystal keys, now that I think about it. So, yeah, I I feel like I'm at the point where I should be showing all the rolls. And yeah, I do think I'm going to record all my rolls at this point. I right-click and I still click the wrong thing. So, this is what we've got left. Like, there's... One, two, three, four cosmetics left. The epic keys will just lead to even more um, shards once a key event rolls around. The tokens are amazing because they can get you a little... I think they give you sacred tokens as well as, you know, the lux and epic lux and the XP tokens. <clears throat> 500 mil, which is bond money. Rune coins, which are amazing. That box, of course prize keys for pet boxes in the future. Uh, Alright. I'm saving the grand prize keys for the mystery chests, right? Alright, let's go. Alright, last mystery chest done. Sweet. I think that's three now, right? Yeah. And I'm going to AFK the comet and do some homework. We've got another roll coming in. It's exciting because it could be anything in here. And we get another prize key. Pretty nice. Replacing the one that I used, let's say. I don't, I don't want to say it was a waste. But the one that I used before. Coming in for yet another roll. There's going to be a lot of these clips, isn't there? And another 1k rune coins, which is sweet. I like how I'm actually probably going to have 20k more rune coins before I have another fused. That's, uh, that's, uh, pretty good. 
I'm trying to stick to doing two rolls for a clip now, but I did get a box with 500 rune coins. Oh my, nice. And a Winter Comet is coming. That'll give me a second roll. Man, I'm doing good on rune coins suddenly. I didn't know what happened. I started playing a lot more actively. That's what happened. All right, let's go ahead and do a double roll. I'm actually surprised we haven't gotten any of the epic keys, but we did get two token bags, which is like 200, just a, a ton of XP. So that's super nice for when I, again, eventually go for 200 mils. That's going to be interesting. Double fun clip here. We've got a winter mystery box, which is 200 rune coins from a dragon fire shield and we've got two more rolls on the chest so let's go ahead and man remember when i was like oh, i'm not gonna let the event dominate my videos Ooh, we got another box with the dwarf cannon set and 75 lux i like it it's event time There's a pet box, so we can pop that open with a key if I don't accidentally middle click on my um, browser window instead. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and pop this regular old prize key and get. probably deserve that. Alright, we got another box drop at 1042kc. King Lava Dragon Top. That's actually really good because I get a ton of um, shards from it on the dragon task, so nice! Plus, you know, the KLD drops. I think the only thing I really don't like about the event is that you have to constantly restock on the snowballs compared to like the lamp being an infinite charge thing. Ooh, sack of tokens and a bag of tokens. What's going on here? Why am I not getting the epic keys? Let's see, sack of token, resource token, so that's lava feathers. And even more XP, nice. I really do think I'm going to finish the chest this video now that I think about it. Just with how many rolls I'm managing to get in such a short amount of time. Let me count up how many rolls I even have left. I'm at like 48 rolls left. So there's the sack of tokens and there's a... Again, I think they put the epic key in the wrong slot because it has pretty consistently been like you have the highest chance of here, 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 and so on. Of course, maybe that's just RNG. Alright, that's a good amount of XP. And 75 luck tokens, I'd love to see it. Uh, you hear that? It's the sound of the loot chest. Alright, got the huge casket in 100 mil. A huge casket gives... Is that like close to the minimum? Oh no, no, that's actually pretty middle of the road. That's nice. Plus another hundred. That is some insane bond money right there, actually. So, yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, the Grandmaster task bottles are gonna be painful to work through. Kind of feeling like this is gonna be the last one of the day. But, that's not going to matter at all in the video, because everything is all together in the video. Got the another prize key, and finally an epic key, which, you know, at this point, the epic key is less exciting, because I don't, it's not adding to a massive stockpile of keys that I have, but hey. Um, at this point... I don't know what I'm going to do. I might actually just get off for the day. We'll see. 
Oh, I do need to do voting for the shards and tickets, but what? I lied. Here's another clip for the same day as the one that I said I would only have that last roll for. And we got another 100 mil and another 1,000 rune coins. Nice. Ugh. <clears throat> I kind of hate that the event is basically the best way to get rune coins that doesn't drive me personally crazy but you know what I'm gonna just keep going with it you know and even another pair of rolls I really should have started the two rolls at once thing a lot earlier that would really cut down on the sheer number of clips going on here but hey one more prize key, one more box with a Sarah sword. That's unfortunate, but well, it's relatively unfortunate. That's not exactly a high ticket or high burned coin, I guess, item. But uh, yeah, things are going pretty well here. Progressing in the event very fast. I think I'm like around 30-ish rolls left. Which is, I'm shocked I got this far, honestly. And the for real final clip for today, because there actually just is not enough time left in the day. All right, I got the Sled, which is the last non-ultra rare um, cosmetic. Yeah. That, that, that exists, as well as the last bag of rune coins. Alright. I'm probably going to focus on grinding the rest of the event out tomorrow and the next day. Just because there's so little left to do at this point. I'm under 40 rolls. I was actually wrong. I think I'm at like 37 left. But, uh, yeah. We've got another pair of rolls ready. I actually technically didn't roll for 24 hours. So let's go ahead and get another 100 mil into the last box. Nice. Arma Helm. That's a uh, cool 150 shards. I'll take it. Or rune coins, not the shards. I got 92 shards, not 150. But, um. <clears throat> yeah. I converted all my GP into platinum tokens. I have gotten some tokens from raids. Um, basically, once I get like 10 raid chests, I'll, um. Uh, do like a clip that's like hey by the way i got these but yeah so i have 2.2 bill 2.3 bill basically um and i'm just gonna wait until i have 20 bucks or enough for 20 bucks of bonds because i mean a 10 dollar bond isn't going to bump me up a rank uh what is the next rank 500 donator ranks uh, yeah, 500 gets me, uh, VIP, which is, um, hmm, VIP max cape could be interesting. The problem, like, I wish I could get, like, the double rune X points combined with the, um, infernal max. And then the VIP zone is free scrolls and some free kills of whatever god wars dungeon boss basically i mean that is kind of actually nice because you can actually use tokens here instead of wasting them on minions anyway yeah we're we are very wealthy at this point breaking the train of event chest clips you're welcome with a Chaos Mummy kill because the uh, Narda event is on, so I should be getting a ton of shards from it, I think. 
All right. And now I know that lucky or epic lucks don't work on it. And wow, that was 1k shards. Sweet. And a chaos scepter because I'd like to go ahead and have the chance to uh, make the enchanted one. You know? Box. I am not looking forward to getting the 10 grand master task bottles, especially since they're not useful to me and won't be for a very long time. All right, we're down to, I think, 36 rolls left in the chest, 10 of which are task bottles. Uh, I've been in a voice call for a bit, so I racked up four rolls, a mystery box, and a prize key. Another one, yeah. Um, lit bug lantern, 35 earned coins, okay, and four rolls. Let's just get this through, because I want to get back to the call. Last prize key. Epic key, bag of riches, epic key. Alright, cool. Spawned a greater abyssal demon. It was a slayer task event, but I didn't finish this task in time. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Um, nothing. Cool, 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 cool. I got 450 pure essence. That's great. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Na, 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 na. All right, after this, I should have 22 rolls left. So, you know, getting close to the end. <clears throat> And now we only have the broadcasts left. Uh, uh, part of me is like, uh, should I just save up the 10 rolls to knock out the Grandmasters? Or should I just save up for all of them for some broadcast span? But no, I think I'm going to just do three at a time, like before. I, like I said, really? Like... I don't expect to get a Zerite or Twisted Bow before um, next event. I don't expect to get... It, not, it only dies Cursed Armors? I thought it did um, Ancestral and uh, just to CR, but that might just be Halloween. Like, the only things I actually would want at this point are this casket for the chance at the pet for next year. Keys, tickets, epic pet box. Like, there it's cool, I guess. And pet grandmasters are eventually helpful, but eh. Anywho. Three rolls, and they're all gonna be bought. Oh, I got the casket. All right. Yo, I got the pet. That's sweet. That's actually the item I wanted from the casket most, really. So, and that's going to make it easier to get the rest of the rolls done. Nice. Two more rolls coming in. Probably two bottles, but we'll see. Ooh, there's the die or the first die done. And there's the party hat left. <clears throat> So we're getting very close to being done, because that's two, five, eight, nine, ten, twenty more rolls. Rolls. Hey, there's the pet, pet, epic pet box and mystery ticket, which has a regular donator box, epic pet box, has an infernal accessory. Ooh, nice. I mean, hey, apparently you, there's a chance of getting it with the Inferno pet, but hey, I'm not actually going to complain about that because it saves me Inferno grinding. And I don't like the Inferno on here. Um, yeah, let's just pop that and get a Corrupted Helm, 75 room coins. Yeah. But yeah, that's actually... I'll take it. I'm still waiting until I get, like, a good pet. <laughs> like, I know that sounds like 
bad, but you know, it would be, um, no, that doesn't stack with, or that the epic box doesn't work with the key anymore. Um, but yeah, like the, <sighs> height or water Phoenix is not useful, like anywhere. So that's why I'm like, a useful pet would be nice. Like, you know, the blood one or the smoke one would be amazing. Anyway, um, Epic Pet Box was pretty good, actually. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's a box. The Dragon Crossbow. That's super nice, actually. And 50 shards. I figured since I'm getting towards the end, I'd pop the... Uh, mint cakes anyway because I might as well <clears throat> finish this off so we'll do the rolls at probably a third roll after um, this one wears off and then pop the other and do some grinding there and then probably go to bed after that point. Alright I'm not actually going to finish the booster I'm actually just going to go ahead and pop the three rolls and then spend some time at the old comet, get a grand prize key, die number two, and the branch out of the way. I really wish I could store the die and branch in my POH instead of spending bank slots on them. But you know what? I'm just happy that I can do this. Uh, let's see. Chaotic Longsword. Um, Cursed Necklace 3, Elixirs of Dragon. Dragon Kite Shield, Infinity Hat. You know, it's not actually that bad. I mean, obviously, it, oh, and a rapier. Obviously, it could have been way better, but, you know, the dupes are nice for bank space. Um, and that's a lot of rune coins, actually. Holy crap. All right. I'm going to head over to the comet. Alright, four more rolls to end off the night. I know I have six more minutes, but nah. Ooh! Got the last tickets. Last die. And another key. Jeez. Casket and box. Eh. Oh, that's a Sarah Doman dehyde set. Okay. That's a weirdly Sarah Domanist pair of rewards there <clears throat> uh so let's go ahead and i guess i'll put that in there get another uh i've been catching dragon and things but i haven't been recording it because there's such a low chance of it actually being worthwhile by the way um i am up to uh, 16 caught, which is more significant than it sounds. I mostly, I got like one Zenite Bolt reward, one Dragon Dart Tip reward, and a lot of Furies for some reason. Anyway, let's see. Um, extra Lava Pendant, sweet. Profound Gem, pretty cool. Uh, five Lava Keys, interesting. Grand Crest Piece 2, awesome. Necklace of Anguish. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, because that is better for range than the lava pendant. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm I'm happy with that. Um, my bank space is not though, but oh wait, no, it is two that I have. It's three that I need. Dang it! <laughs> I was excited. Don't don't put those away. You're gonna need those in a bit. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, I didn't want to put that in there anyway. Spare Lava Pendant. Uh, actually. Let's see, that's basically 200 mil. <clears throat> and a bond. Crap. There are no 20s in there. Uh, how much have, um... $20 bonds been going for 2.9, 2.8 bill. Um, yeah, I'll be able to buy a um, $20 bond 
tomorrow I'm gonna throw that up overnight. Uh, yeah. Also, something I didn't notice, um, I actually got an Aram set. So, yeah, I don't know, I guess I'll take those out and put them into, um, storage in the house, but, because I think I can put the magic armor in there, but Aram's is going to be best in slot for anything I'm barraging, so Raid, Slayer, um, probably Sire if I go there, but, uh, yeah, these are going pretty well here at the end of the event. We've got... <clears throat> 5k rune coins and items, well, spare items to exchange two here and free up some bank space. Uh, oh, I need six more. I, I thought I had to on the dot, but you know what? Boom. It's that easy. Because rings of wealth are the perfect, like, last couple of rune coins needed for daily item. Boom. 5k exactly. And five elixirs of fortune, which, you know, honestly, they're not bad. Uh, I do want to check. How much is it for the grand bag? Like 40k? Yeah, 40k. So we're actually halfway there. Um... Admittedly, the sacred accessory is a little tempting. But, like, I don't know. I mean, the Grand Looting Bag will make so many things easier. Farming revs, farming lava giants, and, yeah, lava giants. Um, doing dailies, like, lava dragons. Basically, a lot of things in the wilderness, now that I think about it. Um, Slayer in the Catacombs once I unlock that. So I think that is going to be my next uh, rune coin item. I'm also, of course, going to get the Scholar's Blessing when I'm going for 200 mil all, but yeah, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. That's a ways off. Anywho, that's a lot of bank spaces freed. Um, 21k rune coins, that looks so good. All right, can we get that last grand prize key real quick? We got the parrot and the prize key, so now it is just the master task bottles. Nice, and we got a parrot. We got a cosmetic slot item. I love it. He's my son. Let's go ahead and pop up in that last uh, chest too, and you know, clear out my inventory a bit. Uh, here it is. Release and Oof. Oh, oh, I got a ring of suffering. How much is the gambler scroll worth? Because I literally have zero purpose for it, so. Oh, that's 600 mil. Um, Ring of Suffering, five seers rings. What the? A rigor and an augury scroll. Which are 200 and 300 mil each. Because um, obviously I already have those prayers. And, uh, oh, Grand Crest Piece 3. So we can pop that open now. So, like, yeah, the Gambler scroll seems like an oof. But it's actually not, you know? Uh, da -da. get arcade boots <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> I think this is literally my second or third Grand Crest. The first one, I got the Archon boots. I'll take it, you know? I mean, it... I can't complain. I genuinely cannot complain about any of this because that's like 400. That's one bill. Ring of Suffering, which makes Zora a lot easier. Um, can I imbue the Ring of Suffering, actually? Uh, item guide. Da, 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 da. Ring. Oh, I can't see. Um... Hmm. Oh, well, um, in any case, good. I just made a mistake. I absentmindedly um, dropped the arcane boots and then picked them up. Oh well. <laughs> easy come, easy go, and that's gonna be a lot of bond money. And in a historic moment for the account, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. We have completed <clears throat> the exchange. So if I reset, we have our first set piece of Event Hunter. And we're only going to get more. It's only going to get easier as I get more of the pets. Oh man. I just got a piece of Event Hunter gear. And I have a lot of Grandmaster Task bottles for when I'm eventually able to do that. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm going to continue to work on Zolra grinding um, and Brimstone Slayer to unlock uh, Core End. And of course, the next video is probably going to be a verbal patch notes. Um, I know the video is predominantly event stuff, but, I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next one. Actually, before I go, uh, there actually should be something I can do. Ooh, I might not be able to. I should be able to take my Ring of Suffering here. Go to the Imbue Wizard. Ring of Suffering, 50,000 runex, just short. But yeah, it goes up to 20 defenses and 2 prayer instead of 10 defenses and 2 prayer. And it can hold um, Rings of Recoil, so I, it's actually able to be used at Zolra. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to get that off screen. Anywho, uh, man, we got a lot this episode. We got like... Uh, over 10,000 rune coins. We got um, the Aram set. We got the Ring of Suffering. The Necklace of Anguish. Actually, we also have the... Don't we have the Bracelet of... I thought we had the Torment Bracelet. Oh, well. Um, no, it's uh, the Thermo Ring that I got. That's this. Anyway. Man. We really did get a lot this episode. Even if I... Um, screwed up a bit. Well, actually, the Arkin Boots are not that good. 
It's five on infinity. And it's 10 and 15 on the arcane. Yeah, that's... Oof, what is the... In, um, eternal. Eight and eight. Yeah, the eternal boots are not that much worse than the arcane. Holy crap. So yeah, that actually is better served as GP. Anyway, for real, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode.